Okay, now we have question number six from January 2017, IAL. In a factory, a machine is used to fill bags of rice. The weights of bags of rice are modeled using a new normal distribution with a mean of 250 grams. Okay, so the weights of the bags of rice are said to be normally distributed. So the weights of the bags of rice are normally distributed with a mean of 250 and a standard deviation or a variation that we don't know what it is. Square of the standard deviation. All right. Only 1% of the bags of rice weigh more than 256 grams. Okay, so if we think about this, you've got your mean will be here. Okay, the mean is 250. And there's 256. And that area above it is just 1%, which is 0 0.01. Okay. So you want to find the percentage of bags of rice of weights between 244 and 256. Okay, now, 244, 256 is basically um, 16 above, sorry, 6 above 250, and 244 is 6 below 250. Okay, that's 244. Okay, so basically this area here, is also 1%. And that area is 1%. Okay? So that's 2%. That's 1% above and 1% below. Okay? Because this is symmetrical. That area is symmetrical. That area is symmetrical. Okay? To that area. They're the same area. So when it says write down the percentage of bags with weights between 244 and 256, we don't even need to look at any tables or anything. We can see, that, okay, that's 1%. And that's also 1% because it's symmetrical. That, that, that distance here is 6, that distance here is 6, that area and that area will be exactly the same. So there's 98% of the bags, because the total is 100%, so the 98% of the weights are going to be between 244 and 256 grams. Okay? Then it says, find the standard deviation of the weights of the bags of rice. So what we can do is you can use this information now. I know that the probability that Z is greater than Okay, um, the value here, okay, the value here, which is, uh, well, let's, let's do it like this first. The probability that the weight is greater than 256 is equal to 0 0.01. And the probability that the weight is less than 244 is also equal to 0 0.01. And we can use this to find the standard deviation. Okay, so what we can do is this. We can say the probability that the weight is greater than 256 is the same as saying the probability that Z is greater than. Now we can do a standard deviation. We can say the standard deviation is going to be given by um, the value, which is 256, minus the mean, which is 250 over the standard deviation. Okay, and we know that that's equal to 0 0.01. Okay? So, we know that that value of Z here, okay, that value of Z here is going to be, so if I say 256 minus 250 over the standard deviation is going to equal Okay, the Z value. Now the Z value, which for which this is going to be true, all right, okay, is going to be equal to the percentage. You can find it from the table here. The next, you've got your tables. If you look at the bottom table there, because it's an exact percentage, 1%, which is 0 0.01, which is here. That's the Z value that corresponds to 1%. Okay, that means uh, the Z value for which there's only 1% bigger than that value is 2.3263. 2.3263. So what we can say here is this is equal to 2.3263. 2.3263. So we can find what the standard deviation is. I haven't written that very well, that sigma. Okay, so sigma is going to be 6 over 2.3263. Okay. So you're going to have 6 divided by 2. 0.3263
which gives you 2.579 2.579 which you can write to 3SF as 2.58 that's a standard deviation in this question okay so that's part B done